What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Night Shift at Darl's 3, where this is the third game in the Night Shift at Darl's series, and this game is made by Devin Manning and Dissident Melody Games, who are the creators of the Five Nights at Darl's series, Night Shift at Darl's series, Five Nights at the Mines series, um, Five Nights at Illuminati series, Five Nights at Freddy's Pixelated Version series, and as well as the one Night of Tortellini series. So yeah, all those games I just mentioned, they're the creators of. And that's a lot of games for them to make, I tell you. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game and see what else happens for us. Oh, we have a cutscene? I'm alive. Well, how lucky am I? The plan can continue as expected. Oh, so somebody got stabbed and stuffed into a suit. Huh. Night 1 characters active this night? None. Okay. Alright, so Night 1 is a freebie, which means we just take the time to get used to the place since, and there's, since there's nobody active. Okay, W is to move forward, A, turn left, S, backwards, D to turn right. And we have a compass to look at. Okay, and that's a radar we can look at, which has limited power and it drains pretty fast. So I can't use it a whole lot. Okay. Am I in like a warehouse or something? It looks like I'm in like a warehouse or a hallway. It looks like a hallway, because I keep running into dead ends as I keep moving. Huh. Okay, so we're doing a lot of... Apparently we're doing a lot of running in this game. This game reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's 4, because of all the running. And this game also reminds me of Five Nights at Dolls 3, which I'm also playing, because just like with Five Nights at Dolls 3, there's a lot of running you got to do in this game. So it's definitely... So this definitely feels like... This is definitely a Five Nights at Dolls 3 mechanic because of the running. Like you're literally running around a building. Okay. Alright, so I'm looking around I'm looking around the place. Okay, that's a wall. Alright, I can go backwards, so that's good. Okay. Just thought I'd take a look around at the places. Okay, there you go. So yeah. Yeah, I'm just sorry, I'm just in the brightness. Yeah, cuz cuz the room in this game is dark, so that's why I got to adjust the brightness periodically. Cuz cuz depending on how dark the graphics are in each game, I got to adjust the brightness accordingly. Okay. So I'm looking around. We have a radar. I believe I'm holding a flashlight or something. I don't know what that is, but I'm holding something in one hand, and then on my other hand is a radar. Which tells me where I am. The radar tells me where I am. So that's pretty cool. It's convenient, but it has limited battery, so... So I gotta only look at it if if I absolutely need to.
And I forgot to mention this earlier in the, in the video, but um, it's apparently raining outside in this game. Am I like... I feel like I'm outside in the rain. Oh, wait. I feel like I'm outside in the rain, even though I'm not. Because it's raining outside in this game. And since night one's a freebie and we're not dealing with any electronics, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna go use the bathroom right now. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I turned the light on by accident when I came back from the bathroom. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're at 5 a.m., so these nights go by quick. Excuse me, sorry. What I meant to say is these nights go by pretty fast. Sorry, I had a, I had a hiccup there for a minute, so that's why I couldn't say what I wanted to say. But it, anyways... And we've beaten night one. Look at that. Oh, nice background. Nice noise. Oh, we got a cut, another cutscene. Let's see what it is. That was the cutscene. Night two, characters active this night. Mr. Darl. Okay. So Darl's going to be active for night two. And we have to go... And since we're walking and rut slash running, we have to avoid them. Okay, so the hat in that direction, that's Darl, which he's running toward us. So we have to run in the opposite direction in order to avoid, avoid him. Okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta consume the battery on the radar first, because this thing drowns pretty quickly. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, I forgot to avoid Darl. Ugh, oh, God. Okay. Okay, so if I see Darl, or anybody in this game, then we have to run to avoid them. Okay. And we can use the radar to check them, but however, it has limited battery.
Okay, so he's moving that way. Oh, so that's a battery charging station. That's pretty cool. Oh, so we can charge our radar right there. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, good. Ah! I gotta run to avoid him! Okay, I gotta run to avoid him. I gotta keep running. And if I hear that noise, it means he's nearby. Okay. Shit, I'm in a dead end. I gotta run. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, this maze is so confusing. Oh. I couldn't run in time because of the maze. Oh. God, this this whole maze is confusing. I can't avoid Darl at the right time. I need to figure out how to avoid Darl without going crazy. Okay, so the blue marks means that's the charging station where we can charge the radar. That means we can charge the radar at the blue station, so that's pretty cool. So I gotta keep moving to avoid him, just like I would with Wario in Five Nights of Wario's Origins. Okay, good. I'm avoiding him just like that. Good. Alright, good. I'm checking him on the radar. Make sure he's not moving toward me, because I don't want that. Okay, I gotta avoid him! Ah! God, I can't do it! Ugh. I can't keep running into Darl without dying! God, sorry, I'm gonna have to end my video here. I'm just so frustrated. God, this game is... God, night two in this game is just as frustrating and confusing as is with Five Nights at Darl's 3. Ugh. Why does the third game always have to be harder than the others? Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna end my video here. We'll take on Night 2 in Part 2 of the next video. Which will be the next video, just like I'm doing with Five Nights at Darl's 3. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.